Harappan architecture. In this module you learn about the layout and architecture of Harappan cities. Every ruin has a story to tell. A story of its glorious past. A story of what brought about its present. A story of what it might have been to what it has become. Nearly 150 years ago, in the 1800s, when railway lines were being laid down for the first time in Punjab, engineers stumbled upon the site of Harappa in present-day Pakistan. To them, it seemed like a mound that was a rich source of ready-made, high-quality bricks. So, they carried away thousands of bricks from the mound to build railway lines. Little did they know that they had found and partially destroyed one of the oldest cities in the subcontinent, Harappa, a city that was about 4,700 years old. Harappa lay hidden in the 1920s when a group of archaeologists discovered ancient seals in Harappa. This discovery led to various excavations in Harappa and further excavations in cities such as Mohenjadaro in Sindh, Pakistan, Dhola Veera and Lothal in Gujarat and Kalibanga in Rajasthan, India. During these excavations, archaeologists found a set of unique objects in almost all these cities. Red pottery painted with designs in black, stone weights, seals, special beads and copper tools. Since the remains and objects found in these cities were similar to those found in Harappa, archaeologists believe that all these cities belonged to a single civilization, the Indus Valley Civilization or the Harappan Civilization. The Harappan Civilization is known for its well-planned cities, which were usually divided into two parts, the citadel and the lower town. The citadel was usually located towards the west and was smaller but higher. The lower town was located towards the east and was larger but lower. The citadel consisted of some important structures such as the public bath and the granary. The lower town consisted of houses and workshops. The lower town was divided into rectangular blocks and had wide roads. Most houses in the lower town were either one or two stories high and had rooms usually built around the courtyard. All the houses were made of baked bricks of uniform size. Most of the Harappan cities had covered trains that were laid out in straight lines. Each train had a gentle slope so that water could flow through it. Very often, drains and houses were connected to those in streets and smaller trains led into bigger ones. It's believed that houses, drains and streets were probably planned and built at the same time. Although the architecture across Harappan cities was similar, each city had at least one unique architectural structure. For example, in Mohenjo-daro, a very special tank, which archaeologists called the Great Bath, was built in the citadel area. The Great Bath was lined with bricks and coated with plaster and tar to avoid seepage. The bath had adjoining rooms and steps leading down to it from two sides. Lothal, on the other hand, has remains of a bead factory, a huge tank and a storehouse. The remains of the bead factory indicate that Lothal had a flourishing bead industry, which made beads of stone, shell and metal. The huge tank at Lothal must have been a dockyard where boats and ships came in from the sea and through the river channel. Goods unloaded at the dockyard were probably stored in the storehouse which was close to it. Lothal, like Kalibanga, also had fire altars where sacrifices may have been performed. Unlike some of the Harappan cities which were divided into two parts the city of Dhola Veera was divided into three parts, the citadel, the middle town and 
the lower town. Each part was surrounded by massive stone walls with entrances through gateways. It's unfortunate that none of the Harappan architecture has completely survived the test of time. All we see today are the ruins of a very sophisticated and advanced civilization whose architecture continues to be the center of historical debate for so many because so much remains unexcavated and unexplored. Let's recall what you have learned. The Harappan civilization extended from Harappa and Mohenjo-daro in Pakistan to Dholavira, Lothal and Kalibanga in India. The Harappan cities were usually divided into two parts, the citadel and the lower town. The citadel was usually located towards the west and the lower town was located towards the east. Most houses in the lower town were either one or two stories high and had rooms built around a courtyard. Mohenjo-daro had a very special tank called the Great Path which was built in the citadel area. Lothal has remains of a bead factory, a huge tank and a storehouse. The city of Dholavira was divided into three parts, the citadel, the middle town and the lower town.